Okay, I promised you a video for tonight and I do not have time to do it. So I'm at it right now. It's a bit dark in here. So I'll be very, very simple. Okay. You need a source of DC power and I'm using DC output. This one is 1.5 amp output. What I did is I cut the end wires and I use those clip. Okay. I bought those clip at Kenison Tower. This is the model I use the most. The 10 amp because they're big enough for most object. And as you can see, I use a lot of it. Okay. So, the source of power can be also solar panel or a, a car charger. I do not have a car charger because it's a smart one. It doesn't work for that. It has to be a stupid old one that doesn't know that is being overloaded. It doesn't know. So, it keeps working. But the smart one today, they don't work. So, but this, this works. So, for example, I got three right here. Those three at night, if you go outside, at night, they feed those tanks. Okay? And it's enough to uh, make sure that it doesn't start to rust again. Sorry, panel at night don't work. If you start the process, it will simply uh, start to rust again slowly, but it will. Uh, the car charger is continuous. If you have access to a car charger, it's probably better if you have one. But they make noise and you're always worried. Sorry, panel at night, they stop. And the tiny charger for the cars, I uh, mean the tiny charger for the computers, they don't stop. And they take over the load of this. Okay. So, once you have found old charger start with that as a mini system it worked good 1.5 m in this case it has to be from ac to dc not ac to ac okay and about one amp or more okay so that's for that you can use that on corn too and uh iron this is all iron right here those are not in the house because I'm still cleaning them and sorting them off a little bit. Cannonball too, look. Okay, second thing, you need a voltmeter or something that will tell you what is the positive side of the wire and the negative side of the wire. So you have to know that. You cannot reverse them, okay? You have to know which one's positive, which one is negative, okay? So in this case, if I plug this in there and I touch the end of those wire, it will say, if I have the right setup, it will not be negative. It will be a positive number. So I know I have the right setup. And let me show you. I have 10 volt at 1.5 amp. And I plug it. So if those were were reverse, or you, if you didn't know, for example, and you try to find the polarity. Okay, there we go. Okay, the number here. See, it's negative. So I know I'm the bad connection. It's not the way it's supposed to be. So and the red goes outside the tank, and the black can be immersed into the tank. If you do immerse the red by mistake into the tank, this will disintegrate. It will disappear on you, okay? Okay, usually when I find stuff, I don't have a chance to do it right away. And I need to get most of the rust off this object before I put in the tank. And the reason is to get the bare contact and also save some time. So I use a small hammer. And this is a great tool. If anything that is round, when uh, even horseshoe, when you hit, you hit the edge and you can fly off a lot of rust. That is a good tool to have. Those two, 
is what I use all the time. Sometimes I use just an old piece of pipe. But this is the tool to have. At least this one is good. You know, it, it's very clean. Okay, that's not, you know, you are probably above that already. Okay, next. Next, this is the magic stuff you need. You can use that also inside the house too as a detergent. But it has to be here. Sodium carbonate, not sodium bicarbonate, okay? Uh, that, like the uh, little uh, cow you use, uh, what's it called? Not magic powder, baking powder, okay? You don't use that. Use this, okay? So, again, sodium carbonate, not bicarbonate, carbonate. Oops, this way. See that? Sodium carbonate. That's what you need. Okay. Next. You need an old container and water. And this water is rain water. Because I have the hard uh, water well. And the less mineral in the water, the best it is. Okay. You try to get the rust off that thing. And you don't want water full of minerals. It help the process so rain water and i collect those with many containers in all direction and my gutter okay next you need a sacrifice object an iron that will disintegrate and i try to use blade all kind of stuff uh the best is paint container, coffee can is the top best. And that's what they look like after a few days. Okay, this is integrate. And they totally fall apart, as you can see, okay? So, this is the way I attach them the best. Is this way. You cut the side to the middle use as a hook you put your contact to it and when the bottom part is used up you simply flip them and reattach them using that so this is like this one here so basically you just flip them and reuse the other way instead perfect coffee can the best okay Next, oh, uh, then no coffee can, but you have access to those, plenty of those work the same as coffee can. You just need more. Okay, I'm gonna put that in place. Next, this is the reason why I try to keep the cover on it, at least a part um, attached partially to it, because it's so dandy. You just bend the cover, put that in, put some more in so it doesn't float, and you're ready. You're very close to the final state. Okay, as I said, the positive have to stay outside the tank, not in contact with the water. Okay, otherwise, it'll turn out like this. It will just fall apart. Okay, it will disappear like those, those things are. So this is the contact, and this is now the positive. Goes in the water, and over time, this will, this will disintegrate. Disintegrate. Next. Okay, we're going to do this nail here. As you can see, a, it's already cleaned up a little bit with the hammer. I'm going to try to clean up a little bit more to try to get a contact. Maybe about where my thumb is okay good right here so sometimes 
they're just so far gone that you cannot save them, okay? Okay, now out to the middle. Now it was hard to do, but with the electrolysis, it, the, less, the rest of the rust will lift up much easier. The, it will break the bound between the, the good iron left and the rust surface. So uh, here, I make a good contact point on my P, and then I will put the negative to this. There we go. It fit right tight. Okay, fit good. If it doesn't fit, if the object is too big, you can wrap with wires. Cheap, cheap, cheap uh, dollar store wire, the cheapest one. You wrap it and you attach it to the wire instead. So this way, like this is this kind of wire right here. Okay. And this way, if you, the clip, if you don't have a clip, you can splice this a bit longer and wrap around too, if you don't have a clip. But with clip, it's easier. So next, you put that in. Okay, now you want, you want the positive, the sacrifice, not to be touching the object or the wire. Okay, just move that aside. So I see, now good distance in between. It can be closer, there's no problem. Just be closer, it'll be faster. Now you need the magic powder. How much magic powder? Ah, about that much. There you go. That's enough, okay? That was not too much, it was uh, the bottom of my hand, okay? So, the what is the function of this stuff? This stuff will make the water more conductive for electricity. So, we we'll go from this, travel into the water, which is now more conductive because I use this, to the object. Over time, this will disintegrate Send some dust of that metal to the iron, and it will kind. I think that's what happened. Not sure. It will kind of deposit itself on the good iron, and it will this way kind of push the rust away from the object. So next time you use your hammer to clean that object, you'll see the rust will flake off much more easily. In the process, there will be an oxidation. Okay, your object will get black like this, okay? And every time you take it out and you hit the object a little bit more, like this one is still brown, you you'll be able to flip the rust easily. It will lose its bonding. The rust will lose bonding with the object or the, the good metal inside. And in time, in time, the rusty nail that you, this is still some rust on it. Uh, it's black, but I can, if I can flake more, I'll flake more, okay? Uh, so in time, and after the, the uh, dipping in hot wax, you will have a nice, good nail or whatever you have saved okay now there's limit to everything if the uh, metal is so pitted inside it will just uh, snap off and I lost a piece right there I lost the round shape of that piece and yeah okay but your object will come nice to touch and interesting because now it's waxy because I put wax on it. So if the process is not complete and you rush, rush, the rust will come out again. But at least the biggest, biggest rust is... What are you doing, kitty? He's tangled up in the wires. Okay. The biggest rust is gone. So at this point, I can simply put it back in the tank with a wire and the process of uh, losing the, uh, the rust will continue. And then when you're happy, you take a steel brush, you brush it, 
and then quickly after the brushing, you dip in hot wax. If the salt still inside, see that little bubble right at the end of my fingers? The salt still, can I, can I speak please? The salt still inside, it will come out again when it's exposed to humidity. So do it again. Do one more of this tank and one more of the waxing and you're gonna get to something that will be uh, preserving time, long time, and good like this here. Nice piece. Okay, and also keep that inside the house. Don't leave that in a cold barn in the winter because the cold will condense it again, humidity on this object, and will start to rust again. But it will not be big flick of rust on it. Cannonballs, so they're gonna go inside the house soon. This spike here, he wasn't ready. It started to rust again. So I'm gonna put that in the fire just to melt the wax on top of it and dip that in the tank again uh, next week. My bar for the negative. So one black wire from the solar panel arrive here. And then after that, they are distributed to one up to many in the same tank. And for the red wire, because I've made a solar panel, I connect them all together. This is the one main wire. And then from there, same thing. One of each of the red go to each of the tank. Each one of those. So start simple. Start with one tank. <laughs> So that's it. Question, ask me, ask me, and I will tell you what I do, okay?